Welcome to 3D Printing News. I'm your host, Mike, and every single Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time, I do my best to keep everybody up to date with the latest happenings in 3D printing or just anything I find interesting. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week's news. So our first news topic actually comes straight from the governor of New York's website. So keeping New Yorkers safe, Governor Hochul announces nation leading proposals to crack down on 3D printed guns and other illegal firearms. So yeah, like this could mean a lot and entail a lot. So let's go ahead and get into some of the details of her announcement. So governor's plan confronts the 3D printed ghost guns, the nation's fastest growing safety threat or growing gun safety threat. Proposal establishes criminal penalties for unlicensed manufacture and sale of 3D printed firearms and requires reporting of all recovered 3D printed guns. First in nation policy would create a minimum safety standards for 3D printer manufacturers blocking production of 3D printed firearms and firearm components. I'm gonna read this last one and then what we'll do is we'll get into what this could mean. So builds on New York's nation leading gun laws by requiring gun manufacturers to design their pistols to prevent easy modification into illegal machine guns so if you guys do remember actually late in 2025 flash forge had actually like posted like an image saying that they were against 3d printed guns and it was against their terms of service like they never directly answered the question like or when people were accusing them like are you monitoring our 3d prints they basically said like we only do it according to our T TOS, or we only do things according to our TOS, or something of that nature. It was actually on the 3D printing news, I believe, back in November or October. I believe the end of October. Now, with this, there was also last year where Bamboo Lab was kind of caught with a privacy concern. Basically, people started to get upset because Bamboo Lab updated their TOS things like they took away the ability to use orca slicer um of uh, you know there was various things that they were doing with that but one of the primary concerns a lot of people do have as well with bamboo lab is that everything gets uploaded to the cloud first why do i bring these two things up is that there was some speculation at the time that they were preparing for something like this to happen where the governor's office or the the government would actually be asking them, hey, can you monitor these 3D prints? Can you give us information on this? With the Flash Forge case, there was actually a letter found that it looked like Alvin Bragg, I believe the district attorney of New York, was actually sending a letter to Flash Forge, basically asking them like, hey, can you prevent this? Like they, they were giving that urge already to say, hey, look, we need to stop the manufacturing of guns. Now, this you know, is not going to be only for New York. I mean, at the end of the day, most states end up copying each other with New York. Maybe it falls over to California. So if this actually goes through and gets passes, I would say that it would be soon to follow to other states. And with 3D print manufacturers, they don't know initially where they're going to be selling to. So they're going to have to set up every single printer to be able to monitor every single thing you're printing. And then also, send a report back to the government, which Flash Forge's original statement actually said that you could be reported to the authorities. Now, without getting political, this is just the information we've already been provided outside, I guess, of me saying that like, hey, this could actually go to other states if enacted, but I could definitely see as of right now, 3D print manufacturers, if this passes, getting forced to do this for every single 3D printer they ship. And that's for Bamboo Lab, that's for Prusa, that's for Flashforge, that's for Creality, that's for Anycubic. If you're going to want to sell to the state of New York, to anybody in New York, you're gonna have to meet those guidelines according to this if they actually end up passing this legislation. Now let's go ahead and go through the article a little bit more. I wanted to talk about a few things. So it has right here. So new legislation proposed to continue the progress of New York state has made in cracking down on 3D printed guns and ghost guns would. And then let's go ahead and read the four things that they have here. So make it a crime for a person to intentionally sell, distribute, or pro possess digital instructions to illegally manufacture or produce a firearm or components component parts without a license like does that mean that they're going through youtube and taking down 
those instructions or are those now going to have to be blocked in the state of New York? Or is that does not that does that not count as possession? There's a lot of things here. So let's move on. We have mandate the reporting of 3D printed guns to criminal clearinghouse database maintaining by New York State Police. Now, I guess going back to that first point, make it a crime to intentionally sell, distribute, or possess digital instructions. I actually don't know if there's any videos on YouTube showing you how to do so. I'm just assuming there is, but maybe there isn't. Anyway, so create a first in nation policy that requires the establishment of minimum safety standards for 3D print manufacturers to ensure their products are equipped with technology that blocks the printer from creating firearms and component parts. That's what I was saying where, you know, all these 3d print manufacturers are going to basically be doing what everyone said that they did not want to do what the hardcore 3d printers and people who are talking about their privacy and their data and things like that where they go with prusa over bamboo lab if you live in new york you're not going to have a choice um if they do again this is all speculative if they pass this legislation so this is not in effect yet but they're looking to pass these laws. So the last thing here, we have require gun manufacturers to design pistols so they cannot be quickly and easily modified into DIY machine guns through the use of illegal devices such as Glock switches. So again, this is a point where you're actually, or gun manufacturers are now going to have to keep up with 3D printed designs. They're probably gonna be taking down from every single website that there is when it comes to Colts 3D, Thingiverse, uh, things like maker world all of those are probably going to have every single gun related type thing whether it's a replica whether it's a prop anything that's even close to resembling a gun will probably get taken down because they don't want to have to deal with the state of new york now there is a lot of comments by a whole bunch of people of course supporting this stuff from kathy hochel now one of the things that i thought was actually kind of funny is that in this picture where they have where they're kind of you know it's it's just it's posing and stuff in front of this table one of the guns actually on the bottom left still has the supports on it like you actually see that like light blue gun it looks like on the the shaft of the gun it still has all of the supports like did they seize these or what what is going on here i don't i don't know the other ones are all removed but that one is not then, of course, there's a whole bunch more about how they're investing into gun safety, things like that. So what do you guys think on this story? Uh, again, it just seems like a pretty big thing that's going, if it gets passed in the state of New York, where we'll have to see what actually takes place with these 3D print manufacturers. And it probably looks like the cloud is going to get more prevalent on their printers. Let me know what you think down below. But at the end of the day, keep it civil. If you're not civil, of course, I'm going to remove the comments. Moving on, we actually have another UV printer. So there has been three major brands to come out with UV 3D printers, or at least announce them by the time the UV Make has actually shipped all of their Kickstarter units. And this is the weird thing with UV Make. I guess it's not weird. It seems like they weren't quite ready to go and they still had some kinks to work out. But some of these other companies like Xtool, um, they might have said, hey, look, we're gonna work out the kinks and we're gonna deliver a working product. So I guess time will tell on that. But since UV Make has been announced, we've actually had the X Tool announce their UV printer. We've actually had Longer do their Kickstarter. And now we have Omtech entering the, the whole thing, or is it OM Tech, however you say it. They're another laser company that's entering the UV 3D printer space. Kind of seems like because they're already doing like those apparel printers and things like that, it's kind of a natural push. What do you guys think? This whole thing is crazy. The maker space is getting crazy. Whether, <laughs> whatever these things are, like, it's crazy. So I do think we're gonna start seeing some more 3D print creators get a little bit more involved with some of the laser uh, companies because they're all coming out with these UV printers. And it's kind of like a natural crossover, I feel like. I guess time will tell on that and we'll see if they actually deliver some good working products in comparison to the Yuffie Make, which made its way into a lot of 3D printer or 3D print content creators studios. With that being said, guys, please enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you to all of my members. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you to all the subscribers, guys, and enjoy again. Enjoy the rest of your day.